I want to take you through something that's pretty easy and pretty quick, uh, but it's a question I get a lot from people. How to take text and vertically align it in a container like a div or something like that. I'll show you how to do a single line of text, which can be a different way of doing it. And I'll show you how to do it with a couple lines of text using another, another box or another container, let's say, another containing element. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to open up a new file. I'm going to do this in Dreamweaver. You can do it in any program. It doesn't really matter. I'll open this up in Dreamweaver. I'm going to insert a div. And this works in just about anything you've got. So if you're using HTML5, if you're using divs, if you're using different containing elements, you can put these things out there. I'll create a class for the div, and I'll call it, uh, I don't know, wrap me, whatever. And what I'm going to do is go out and create a style then. So I'll say, all right, let's make a new style over here. And it's called wrap me. It's going to apply to that div right there. And you'll see exactly what I do here. I'm just using the built-in Dreamweaver fe features here to get this done, just to get a couple things done here. And I'll just do a width and height on this box just so you can see it. And I'll click OK, and you can see right there, there it is. Now, if I go to the split code, just to show you, I put the styling in the page just so you could see it happening. Normally, I would do this in an external style sheet, but there we go. So I'm going to come down here, and we're going to make this a paragraph. So to do that, you can just put your cursor in the text, and Dreamweaver either wrap it with P tags or come to the property inspector and just say paragraph. There we go. You can see P right there. I'm going to make a new style now right in the head. And normally, you'd put this in an external style sheet, but just to keep it together. And what I'm going to do is we would normally have taken care of this type of thing, but I'm going to remove the margin and padding. This is, we usually use what's called a reset for this or some other method. So I'll get rid of the margin and padding. That's great. Now the trick here is this. Let me uh, close this style up. You can see that I've got the text. And when I go over here, it's all kind of nice and snug up to the top. We're going to adjust what's called the line height. If you set the line height, to be the height of the containing element or whatever it's inside of the box height, let's say, it's going to put it in the center. But you got to be careful because it's going to do this for a couple lines of text. So what you want to do is make sure that, let's suppose you're going to create a button and you just want to put like by me or by now or something like that. This method method will really only work for a line of text. If I come to my paragraph here and I change the line height property and I set it to the same as the box or whatever it's inside of. And this could be a different unit. It could be M's. It could be whatever you set as the height of this object. And come over here. You can see, okay, well, there we go. I can then come to the div itself or the paragraph. It doesn't really matter. And put text align on there to go center. And I'm just using what's built into Dreamweaver here to get this done. And there we go. If I go test it out, I'm going to use Browser Lab, which is built into later versions of Dreamweaver. And it's going to say, oh, do you want to save it now? Yes, I will save it, put it in my root, and replace what I've got. Awesome. It'll take a, uh, just a couple minutes here. Let me go out to Safari, take a look at it. And you'll see if you test it in 6, 7, 8, whatever you want to for Internet Explorer or other browsers, it pretty much works. Cool. Now right, let me go back to Dreamweaver. Now another way we can do this is if you have multiple lines of text and you want to do it that way, I'll just show you the difference here. If I go to this other example here, you'll see, okay, well, this is the original, sorry. This is the original example, line height. If I go to this other example, let me see, and that's actually not it because what I did was overwrote the other one. Awesome. All right, well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to create a new one. Or you know what? I'm getting really lazy here. I'm just going to use the one we have. So I'm going to change what we've got here. If we take the box that the text is inside of and we set a position of relative on it. So I'll go to position relative and do that. So you put it out in the containing element, you set position relative. What we can then do is take this thing, this could be a paragraph, a div, whatever you want it to be, and we can position it inside that box or inside that object. So if I come to P here, I'm going to go to position absolute. And what we're going to do is from the top, let me do this, from the top, we're going to use a percentage. So I'll use, let's say, 50%. And from the left, I'll use zero. So what we're saying here is we're saying, okay, take this paragraph. Position it absolutely, which means inside this box. That's what the position relative does. Start it from the top 50% down, and then the left zero. I'm going to get rid of the line height here. We don't need that anymore in the CSS. And I'll go over here, and you can see that there it is. I can then go in and just type in a bunch of stuff, and you can see what's going to happen here. It's just taking putting a box in a box, essentially. What we can then do is do things like, if we want the paragraph to go all the way across, 
we can do a, let's say, display block. Um, there's a couple ways to do this, essentially. Whoops. Okay. And you can see we're going to actually be, be able to display this as a block, rather, and it's not letting me select this because my thing is not working. So there we go, display block. We can then adjust the percentage here. So say, uh, you know what, let's try 40. See where that puts us. Eh, not too bad. Put padding in this paragraph, do all sorts of different things, and that allows us to do a vertical alignment. Now, there are, are other ways to do this, like display table cell and different methods for that, but I found that these methods work pretty well in most all browsers, especially if you're concerned with like IE7 and IE6. So anyway, there you go. Quick tip for you.